Welcome back to Animation Technically and today we're answering another question on Advanced Skeleton because I've actually had a couple of people say that you cannot create uh, control rigs in Advanced Skeleton for custom skeletons and this I mean skeletons that have been created outside of the Advanced Skeleton system uh, so normally you might have used Maya's HIK system for that which we are not going to do I'm just going to close all of this we're going to use Advanced Skeleton. Uh, this is the UE4 mannequin character that is provided by Epic. You can export it from the engine or just grab it from anywhere. It's provided in almost every Unreal game template you can find. And obviously it has the, the core UE4 mannequin skeleton. If you use Unreal, then this is no stranger to you. And what you're looking for in Advanced Skeleton is nowhere in the general menus. It's actually in Tools and it's the name matcher. This is a, a really bad choice for name because it does not describe what the tool does. Uh, not very well. I think this could be better documented. But you see when you open it up, you have a bunch of options. Um, I'm selecting Unwill as my template from this. Um, but there are a bunch of templates as well that you can work from depending on where you've obtained your character from if you didn't make them yourself. Uh, I'm going with Unreal because it's already mapped for me. So you can see here, we have our root pelvis, spine, etc. Then we get the left side of the body, the right side of the body with the uh, R and L suffix at the end that are matched here because the template is all set up for me. Um, and with this in mind, I can tell it to create and place a fit skeleton, which it does because it's an Unreal template. It knows exactly what to do. And this is the skeleton you would use to um, normally make it. So you can go in and custom this like you would any other fit skeleton. You've got it all set up to where it needs to be. But just for the purpose of this, we're just going to treat it like it's all done because it has everything the standard UE4 uh, game template has. And obviously you can check if you want to. You can bring it up. You can see twist joints are on uh, where they need to be. Same with in-between joints. You might want to take these out, but that doesn't matter for the purposes of this. We're just going to build the advanced close and control rig. There you go. Obviously now the skeleton template itself that was fit does have eyes and a mouth. This mesh has neither, so I've not bothered with them. You can just delete them out. It makes no difference if they're there or not. They're just not being used here. Um, make sure you, your skeleton has the bends for the IK pole vectors to be generated correctly. But you see, nothing has happened yet. So we're just gonna constrain to those joints and this is where it uses the matching names again. And so you have everything done as you want and you are ready to animate. However, suppose you want to do this with a character from scratch that you don't have a template for, you'll have to do a bit more. So here we have Hell. Um, again, this character, if you're not new to my channel, will be uh, known to you. I use her as my main icon for everything because, I mean, well, look at her. She's gorgeous. So in this case, we're going to be using the name match again. We're going to go for New. And this is where you have to make all your joints match. Now to say you don't have to just generate your core left and right side of the human template, you can generate controllers for all these additional bits as well that for me if I use this in Unreal would probably be dynamically made but for the purposes of this we're just going to go with the rig so check your rig name see what you've done and obviously right and left on this rig are prefixed with R and L. So obviously you can create something new from scratch but it involves filling in every single name so what we're going to do is going to switch back to the unreal template uh, because what you can do is you can export it to a file in a new uh under a new name so we'll piggyback on this and obviously we'll switch this back to that and that's again because you only need to do the core side but now we go through and this is where there's a lot of copying and pasting um takes some time but you get the idea but what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead uh, for the process of this video and just fill all of these in and there we go so you can see they're all nicely filled in there actually I have missed one and it's a good thing these are all uppercase and we're using alphabets uh, instead of numbers so it's easy to spot so A B C but there you go uh, we're not using namespaces or anything but you can add namespaces into it and now we're going to not worry about any of the extras for the moment. Um, what you can do is you can just add them into the fit skeleton after generation if you want to. I'm just going to ignore them all completely. You want to create and place fit skeleton. This is one of those things you have to be very careful. It's not matched because you notice here we have 
R and L arm there. We don't want it as a prefix, we want it, we don't want it as a suffix, we want it as a prefix. So the R comes first. With that in mind, we can now make sure we obviously delete the first bits of filters in. Let's do it again. And there we go. This is now correct how it should be. Obviously, it is not perfect. We still have bits like this done. And you're free to go and fix them like you would anything else. I'm just going to cheat. There we go. And also, if you do make any changes, make sure you go back into your advanced version menu uh, and put it into fit mode or update now to make sure it aligns its axes correctly. Down X. But with that in mind, we can now. Ah. Another issue here we have. Um, so we're going to delete our fixed skeleton. And we're going to fix this. Advanced skeleton does not like you to be on the left and the right. Or rather it wants the left side on the left and the right on the right. This is one of the few areas that will uh, cause problems, shall we say. In this case, for the sake of this test, I'm just going to move skin joints. Which you can do. And you can put... Let's try this again. Move skin joints. There we go. And then we'll do the same. So 17.185 on the X. Um, that's close enough. We don't need to be perfect for this. Because we've used it in move fit joints mode, it will update the bind pose for that model as well. And now we can go one more time. It's got a problem with that, so we're just gonna it that that is what our head is called if we are correct head head yes that should be fine right let's do it again create and place fit skeleton so it's made a head temp but that's okay what we can do here is we could actually match it up to the eyes if we wanted to we don't want to for this because we're going to build our advanced skeleton just to this and there we go and obviously you can fit, you can go back to fit mode as normal now, treat it like anything else. Uh, because you have this template now, the one thing it does is what you wanted, which is the constraint to joints, right? Because right now, nothing happens. And then, constraint to joints, magic happened. And that's it. That's a skeleton control rig on the run skeleton bound to your main rig and with all the bells and whistles of that, but just on anything you want it to have, which is perfect. And obviously you have your attributes as well because you've used the template. So you can do all those bits if you want to, um, or you can make your own attributes if you want to. Either way, that's it. Control rig done. And uh, thanks for watching.